hello year 12. We are a few weeks into the first half term now and I imagine at some point during this half term or this few weeks you've sat in your classroom, you've looked at everyone else around you who is writing stuff down, nodding, talking about questions with the person sitting next to them and you've thought, what am I doing here? I am in the wrong place, I don't understand, this is not the right thing for me, and you've had a little bit of a panic. I'm here to tell you it's okay, don't worry. Every single year 12 student feels like this at about this point. Some people are gonna be better at hiding it than others, some people aren't gonna be very good at hiding it, but everybody feels the same. Everybody feels massively overwhelmed. Um, and this is just a normal year 12 thing. It's gonna be made worse by the situation that's going on at the moment, but I promise you, this is a normal way to be feeling at this point in year 12. The difference between year 11 and year 12 is massive. You are gonna be potentially in a different school, a different college, but it is gonna be a completely different environment, even if you stayed in the same school. Because the teachers are gonna be behaving differently and you're gonna have freeze and you're gonna be a lot more independent and nobody's really like taught you how to be independent, which I know seems like a really, really silly thing, but it is a big shock to the system that all of a sudden you're trusted to get on with things and you know I'm always a lot more relaxed with my year 12 classes and they literally think I'm insane I go from you know quite strict in year 11 yes you have to hand your homework in yes you have to be here on time to when we dance around pretending to be electrons and where's the cake racer and why why is there not coffee and um, things are a lot more relaxed in year 12 because teachers expect that you want to be there you've chosen to be there that's this is something you are enjoying hopefully doing so do not worry if you are panicking a bit do not worry if you feel like you're in the wrong place that you've made the right choices everyone feels like this now for some of you you will have made the wrong choices and that's okay you can still change your mind go and talk to your teachers about how you're feeling don't talk to like maybe the subjects that you want to switch to maybe you pick history and actually you'd much rather be doing english and um, maybe you picked physics and you didn't pick maths and you realized that maths would really really help with your physics and you want to do maths all changes most changes are still possible at this point we are still only a few weeks in you can catch up you can probably still change topics you can change classes you can probably even still change schools at this point the most important thing to do is to go and talk to people now if you are sure that you are have picked the right subjects but you are still feeling massively out of your depth do not worry everyone's feeling like this um and there are lots and lots of things you can do to keep on top of this. Um, getting organised, getting sorted, basically starting good revision practices now. Now, you guys are at the massive disadvantage that you didn't revise for GCSEs and you've been out of education since March. You had a long time doing whatever, really. And that is going to work to your disadvantage. So you need to be really, really strict with yourselves. So you need to get yourself a timetable. Um, <clears throat> and it doesn't necessarily have to be a really strict revision timetable, but it's kind of like on a Monday, I need to do these two bits of subject homework. I need to do this bit of independent study. I need to go and pick my little brother or sister up from whatever club. I need to cook dinner and I need to do this. So just a list of things that need to be done each day. Because if you leave all of your homework to the weekend, because you've got too many other responsibilities during the week, the weekend's gonna be really, really hard. So make sure that you're keeping up with stuff as you go along. Now, as well as the homework and the notes you do in class, it is really important that you write those notes up as neat. So that you're making your own kind of like the revision guide as you go along. And then on top of the homework that your teacher gives you, do some extra questions. Now, these don't have to be kind of like massive, long exam questions. They can just be some of the multiple choice questions that I've got for you over on my website, or some of the workbook questions, or some questions that you find um, in the back of a textbook or in the back of one of your original guides. But always try and supplement the lesson with a few extra questions that you're on top of what your teacher has given you, just to make sure that you're 
properly getting it all in your head. Now I know this seems like a lot of extra work when you could just be kicking your heels back and playing your piece games or watching television or whatever. But even doing like an extra 20 minutes each day will make things so much easier. Because you're going to be sitting your A-levels in 2022. And I can say that with like 99% certainty. Um, because I'm 50-50 as to whether the 2021 exams will go ahead. But by 2022, surely they've got to come up with something, whether it's a vaccine or an alternative situation or something better than what happened this year. So I'm fairly certain you're going to be sitting exams. I never thought it would get to this situation. Anyway, fairly certain you're going to be sitting exams and starting to revise now is a really, really good thing, even though they're literally like well, actually only 18 months away. Anyway, um, start here to revise now. So do not panic. Do not worry. In all of this overwhelming feeling that is going on at the moment, try and find things that calm you down. Whether it is doing mindfulness or whether it is reading um, or whether it is going for a run or going out for a cycle or playing football or like <clears throat> coaching football or guides or scouting or whatever it is make sure you make time to do things that make you happy because in this crazy world in this crazy situation it is really important that we properly actively look after our mental health our mental health isn't something that just happens it is something we act actively have to look after and ensure we are getting ourselves into a good situation with. So don't worry, guys, is, is the basic message of this video. It's going to be all right. It may not be all right in the way that you thought it was going to be all right. It may not be all right in the way that you planned for it to be all right. Um, it may be all right in a completely different way. But I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way. We're going to be working so hard together to make this a really good, a really positive experience for you. And so that, you know, we can have a really successful year 12 and we can have a really successful year 13. So, good luck, guys. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches. <laughs>